Ari Emporium. Welcome back. Let's create some more stories. Choose different parts for your story and see how the endings change. Tap anywhere to start. Choose the story you'd like to create. Making mud pies. Can you help Zeke and Louisa make a perfect mud pie? Making mud pies. There are three choices to make for our story. First, choose where your story takes place. Tap or drag a place to add it to your story. The Sew and Grow Garden. Choose who is in your story. Zadie, choose what they do in your story. How much water will they add to the mud pie? Add two cups of water. When you're ready to read your story and see what happens, tap the check mark. Tap the green play button to start reading. Making mud pies. At the Sew and Grow Garden, Zeke and Louisa were making a perfect mud pie. They said, it can't be too wet and it can't be too dry. Then along came Zadie who wanted to join in the fun. Can I have a mud pie? I'll trade some stickers for one. One cup of dirt and two cups of water is what I prefer. So they added two cups of water and they started to stir. Is it the perfect mud pie? Asked Louisa. Zeke said, pick it up and let's do a test. Wow, they all said. This mud pie is the best. Now we know how to make the perfect mud pie. With two cups of water, it's not too wet and not too dry. The end. What a creative story. That's one way your story can end. What do you think might happen if you change how much water they add to the mud pie? Tap the blue pencil to change your story or tap the arrow to create a new one. What do you want to change? You can choose a different place for your story or tap the arrow to change another part of your story. Add no water. Tap the green play button to start reading. Making mud pies. At the Sew and Grow Garden, Zeke and Louisa were making a perfect mud pie. They said, it can't be too wet and it can't be too dry. Then along came Zadie who wanted to join in the fun. Can I have a mud pie? I'll trade some stickers for one. One cup of dirt and no cups of water is what I prefer. So they added no cups of water and they started to stir. Is it the perfect mud pie? Asked Louisa. Zeke said, pick it up and let's do a test. The dry dirt fell through their hands and made a big mess. That pie was too dry. Zeke started to mumble, but Louisa had an idea. Zadie, would you like to have a mud crumble? The end. That was a fun story to read. You found a different way to create your story. What else could you change? Tap the blue pencil to change your story or tap the arrow to create a new one. What do you want to change? You can choose a different place for your story or Tap the arrow to change another part of your story. Add three cups of water. Tap the green play button to start reading. Making mud pies. 
At the Sew and Grow Garden, Zeke and Louisa were making a perfect mud pie. They said, it can't be too wet and it can't be too dry. Then along came Zadie, who wanted to join in the fun. Can I have a mud pie? I'll trade some stickers for one. One cup of dirt and three cups of water is what I prefer. So they added three cups of water and they started to stir. Is it the perfect mud pie? Asked Louisa. Zeke said, pick it up and let's do a test. Splat went the pie and it made a big mushy mess. That didn't work said Louisa with her spoon in the goop. That mud pie was too wet. But Zadie, would you like to have some mud soup? The end. Great story making. That was a different ending. What do you want to change? You can choose a different place for your story or tap the arrow to change another part of your story. Outside the Wombat's house. Sammy. Malik. Add one cup of water. Tap the green play button to start reading. Making mud pies. Outside the wombat's house, Zeke and Louisa were making a perfect mud pie. They said, it can't be too wet and it can't be too dry. Then along came Malik who wanted to join in the fun. Can I have a mud pie? I'll trade some stickers for one. One cup of dirt and one cup of water is what I prefer. So they added one cup of water and they started to stir. Is it the perfect mud pie? Asked Louisa. Zeke said, pick it up and let's do a test. Poof! Went the pie and it made a dry, dusty mess. That didn't work, said Louisa all covered in dirt. That mud pie was way too dry. But Malik, would you like to have a mud shirt? The end. I love how you created that story. You found all the different endings for your story. Keep playing or tap the arrow to read a new story. Try creating another story. Choose a story. Tap the blue arrows for more stories. Wake up, June June. Can you help the wombats wake up June June in time to eat ice cream? Wake up, June June. First, choose where your story takes place. The Eat and Greet Cafe. Choose who is in your story. Zeke. Choose what they do in your story. What will they do to try to wake up June June? Give flowers. When you're ready to read your story and see what happens, tap the check mark. Tap the green play button to start reading. Wake up June June. One day at the Eat and Greet Cafe, there was yummy ice cream. But Jun Jun was napping. He wouldn't wake from his dream. Jun Jun, wake up! Zeke started to shout. I just have to wake him. I can't let him miss out. Zeke looked around. Will this wake him up? He gave Jun Jun flowers he found in a cup. The flowers smelled so good that Junjun woke up from his sleep. He jumped to his feet with a big, happy leap. Hooray! He's awake! Now we can all eat ice cream for breakfast! Woohoo! What a treat! The end. I loved that story! 
That's one way your story can end. What do you think might happen if you change how they try to wake up Junjun? Tap the blue pencil to change your story or tap the arrow to create a new one. What do you want to change? You can choose a different place for your story or tap the arrow to change another part of your story. Zadie, give us Stuffy. Tap the green play button to start reading. Wake up, Junjun. One day at the Eat and Greet Cafe, there was yummy ice cream. But Junjun was napping. He wouldn't wake from his dream. Junjun, wake up! Zadie started to shout. I just have to wake him. I can't let him miss out. Zadie looked around for something soft and fluffy. She said, will this wake him up? As she gave Junjun a stuffy. The stuffy was so soft that Junjun did not wake up from his sleep. He just cuddled the stuffy without making a peep. Well, that didn't work. Sleepy Junjun still deep in a dream. That's okay, Junjun. We'll save you some ice cream. The end. Wow, what a fun story to read. You found a different way to create your story. What else could you change? Tap the blue pencil to change your story or tap the arrow to create a new one. What do you want to change? You can choose a different place for your story or tap the arrow to change another part of your story. The Wombat's Home Malik Set an alarm clock Tap the green play button to start reading. Wake up, Junjun! One day at the Wombat's house, there was yummy ice cream. But Junjun was napping. He wouldn't wake from his dream. Junjun, wake up! Malik started to shout. I just have to wake him. I can't let him miss out. Malik looked around and under a sock. He said, will this wake him up? As he turned on the alarm clock. The alarm was so loud that Junjun woke up from his sleep. He jumped really high when the alarm went beep, beep. Hooray! He's awake! Now we can all eat ice cream for breakfast! Woohoo! What a treat! The end. What a creative story! You found all the different endings for your story. Keep playing or tap the arrow to read a new story. Let's create more stories. Choose a story. Tap the blue arrows for more stories. Tap the green play button to choose a story. A place to play. The Wombats have a new toy. Can you help them find a place to play? A place to play. First, choose where your story takes place. The Sew and Grow Garden. Choose who is in your story. Zeke. Choose what they do in your story. Play with a dragon toy. When you're ready to read your story and see what happens, tap the check mark. Tap the green play button to start reading. A place to play. In the sow and grow garden, Carly, Cece, and Clyde were planting potatoes. Seeds, dirt, and water for rows and rows and rows. Then along came Zeke. Look at my new toy. It's really fun. 
but I need a place to play where my toy won't disturb anyone. The Sew and Grow Garden, said Zeke. This looks like a great place to play with toys. He played with the dragon toy, which made a really loud noise. From the dragon toy came a great big sound. Surprised, Carly, Cece, and Clyde jumped up in the air and then hid underground. I'm sorry the toy was loud. Zeke said with a sigh. I saw you all hide and I wondered why. Carly, Cece, and Clyde popped up. Just a toy? Looks like fun. And they all played together until the day was done. The end. That was a fun story to read. That's one way your story can end. What do you think might happen if you change which toy they play with? Tap the blue pencil to change your story, or tap the arrow to create a new one. What do you want to change? You can choose a different place for your story, or tap the arrow to change another part of your story. The Eat and Greet Cafe. Zadie. Play with the noisy thing. Tap the green play button to start reading. A place to play. In the Eat and Greet Cafe, Duffy had lots to bake. Now it's time to decorate this delicious cake. Then along came Zadie. Look at my new toy. It's really fun. But I need a place to play where my toy won't disturb anyone. The Eat and Greet Cafe, said Zadie. This looks like a great place to play with toys. She played the noisy thing, which made a really loud noise. The noise was so loud. It was such a big sound. It surprised Duffy, who dropped her cake on the ground. Zadie sighed. I'm sorry about your cake. That loud noise messed up what you were trying to make. Duffy and Zadie figured out what to do. They worked together to bake something new. The end. Great story making. That was a different ending. Tap the blue pencil to change your story or tap the arrow to create a new one. What do you want to change? You can choose a different place for your story or tap the arrow to change another part of your story. The Everything Emporium. Malik. Spin a pinwheel. Tap the green play button to start reading. A place to play. In the Everything Emporium, Mr. E was filling shelves with toys. I have a lot of work to do. I can't be bothered by any noise. Then along came Malik. Look at my new toy. It's really fun. But I need a place to play where my toy won't disturb anyone. The Everything Emporium, said Malik. This looks like a great place to play with toys. He spun the pinwheel, which didn't make any noise. While Malik spun the pinwheel, it didn't make a peep. In fact, it was so quiet, Mr. E closed his eyes and fell asleep. Mr. E woke up from his sleepy state. A toy you can nap with just makes me feel great. Smiling, he put the new toy on sale in his store. And customers are now asking for more and more. The end. I love how you created that story. You found a different way to create your story. What else could you change?
What do you want to change? You can choose a different place for your story or tap the arrow to change another part of your story. The Sew and Grow Garden. Zeke. Blow bubbles. Tap the green play button to start reading. A place to play. In the Sew and Grow Garden, Carly, Cece, and Clyde were planting potatoes, seeds, dirt, and water for rows and rows and rows. Then along came Zeke. Look at my new toy. It's really fun. But I need a place to play where my toy won't disturb anyone. The Sew and Grow Garden, said Zeke. This looks like a great place to play with toys. He blew bubbles, which didn't make any noise. While Zeke blew bubbles, it didn't make a sound. Carly, Cece, and Clyde finished their gardening. Every seed was planted neatly in the ground. After a few hours, Carly, Cece, and Clyde saw Zeke. Your toy was so quiet, we didn't hear you over there. They gave Zeke some fresh veggies. There were more than enough to share. The end. I loved that story. That was a different ending. What do you want to change? You can choose a different place for your story or tap the arrow to change another part of your story. The Eat and Greet Cafe. Zadie. Spin a pinwheel. Tap the green play button to start reading. A place to play. In the Eat and Greet Cafe, Duffy had lots to bake. Now it's time to decorate this delicious cake. Then along came Zadie. Look at my new toy. It's really fun. But I need a place to play where my toy won't disturb anyone. The Eat and Greet Cafe, said Zadie. This looks like a great place to play with toys. She spun the pinwheel, which didn't make any noise. While Zadie spun the pinwheel, it didn't make any sound at all. Duffy finished decorating. The cake was colorful, and it didn't fall. What a quiet toy, said Duffy. I didn't hear you come in. Duffy offered Zadie some cake, and they ate it with a big grin. The end. Wow, what a fun story to read. You found a different way to create your story. What else could you change? What do you want to change? You can choose a different place for your story or tap the arrow to change another part of your story. The Everything Emporium. Malik. Blow bubbles. Tap the green play button to start reading. What do you want to change? Play with a dragon toy. Tap the green play button to start reading. A place to play. In the Everything Emporium, Mr. E was filling shelves with toys. I have a lot of work to do. I can't be bothered by any noise. Then along came Malik. Look at my new toy. It's really fun, but I need a place to play where my toy won't disturb anyone. The Everything Emporium, said Malik. This looks like a great place to play with toys. He played with the dragon toy, which made a really loud noise.
From the dragon toy came a great big sound. Surprised, Mr. E threw the balls in the air and they landed in a big mound. Malik said, I'm sorry my toy was so loud and made you drop every ball. Mr. E and Malik danced in the pile, then put them neatly back up on the wall. The End What a creative story! You found all the different endings for your story. Keep playing or tap the arrow to read a new story. Can you create a new story? Choose a story. Tap the blue arrows for more stories. Color fun! Can you help the wombats make up a new game using colors? Color fun! First, choose where your story takes place. The wombat's home. Choose who is in your story. Louisa! Choose what they do in your story. What color will they say? Say green. When you're ready to read your story and see what happens, tap the check mark. Tap the green play button to start reading. Color fun! One day at the Wombat's home, the Wombats make up a new game. Here's the rule. When someone says a color, we'll all act the same. Along comes Louisa holding a shiny new ball. Would you like to see my new toy? My ball will be fun for all. I made sure to get the color I like best. I really think green is better than the rest. Green is the secret color. The wombats know just what to do. They freeze like statues. What's going on? Says Louisa. I don't have a clue. Hmm. Could this be a game that you've chosen? When I said green, you just stood there, frozen. The wombats smiled because Louisa passed the test. Louisa joined the game and agreed. It's the best. The end. That was a fun story to read. That's one way your story can end. What do you think might happen if you change the color they say? Tap the blue pencil to change your story or tap the arrow to create a new one. What do you want to change? You can choose a different place for your story or tap the arrow to change another part of your story. The Sew and Grow Garden Mr. E Say Blue Tap the green play button to start reading. Color Fun One day in the Sew and Grow Garden, the wombats make up a new game. Here's the rule. When someone says a color, we'll all act the same. Along comes Mr. E, holding a shiny new ball. Would you like to see my new toy? My ball will be fun for all. I made sure to get the color I like best. I really think blue is better than the rest. Blue is the secret color. The wombats know just what to do. They jump and yell, Kablooey! What's going on? Says Mr. E. I don't have a clue. I wonder if everyone is playing a game. When I said blue, you all yelled, Kablooey, the same. You worked it out, the wombat said with a grin. Then they all yelled, Kablooey! Everyone wins. The end. Great story making. That was a different ending. Tap the blue pencil to change your story or tap the arrow to create a new one. What do you want to change? You can choose a different place for your story or 
Tap the arrow to change another part of your story. The Everything Emporium. Sammy. Say yellow. Tap the green play button to start reading. Color fun. One day in the Everything Emporium, the Wombats make up a new game. Here's the rule. When someone says a color, we'll all act the same. Along comes Sammy, holding a shiny new ball. Would you like to see my new toy? My ball will be fun for all. I made sure to get the color I like best. I really think yellow is better than the rest. Yellow is the secret color. The wombats know just what to do. They do a headstand. What's going on? Says Sammy. I don't have a clue. Hmm, could this be the rule for a game? When I said yellow, you all flipped over the same. You figured it out, the wombat said with a grin. Then they all did headstands and agreed. This game is a win. The end. I love how you created that story. You found a different way to create your story. What else could you change? What do you want to change? You can choose a different place for your story or tap the arrow to change another part of your story. Louisa, say red. Tap the green play button to start reading. Color fun. One day in the Everything Emporium, the Wombats make up a new game. Here's the rule. When someone says a color, we'll all act the same. Along comes Louisa holding a shiny new ball. Would you like to see my new toy? My ball will be fun for all. I made sure to get the color I like best. I really think red is better than the rest. Red is the secret color. The wombats know just what to do. They dance like robots. What's going on? Says Louisa. I don't have a clue. Hmm, is this all part of a game? When I said red, you all danced the same. You worked it out, the wombat said with a grin. Then they all danced the robot. Everyone wins. The end. I loved that story. You found all the different endings for your story. Keep 